Hi there and welcome to British Crash Helmets. Today I'm going to show you around the MT Thunder 3. This is it. It's a polycarbonate shell hel full face helmet with a drop down sun visor uh, and it's designed as an all rounder. So if you're riding your bike into work, it should be great for that. Uh, or if you go touring or out with your mates on a Sunday afternoon, no reason why this helmet shouldn't fit the bill. Um, polycarbonate shell. Um, polycarbonate helmets tend to be low price helmets basically because their uh, polycarbonate is a type of plastic and they're easy to inject mould and create helmets from but don't let that put you off because some of the some polycarbonate helmets are the best performing in terms of safety on the market. This one is created in two shell, helmet shell sizes so this is in size large there'll be, a, there'll be another helmet shell which covers the likes of medium to extra small um, and it'll be a slightly smaller form um, and it's the kind of number of helmet sh uh, shells you'd expect a helmet at this price point which is around about the 80 to 100 pound mark mark which is what 120 euros or dollars um, you'd expect kind of no more than than two helmet shells really uh, occasionally you get three but it just means that you're going to have the right amount of um, internal padding and uh, shock absorbing padding to the size of the helmet. Obviously if you'd only got one and you're an extra small then they'd have to pad the helmet out a lot to make it fit your head. Can also make it look really big on your body if you've got a small body, small head, large helmet shell you get that lollipop pop effect which you don't really want. Um, so I'll take you around this helmet. Um, it's got um, a quick overview is that it's got a Pinlock Max Vision visor, uh, it's got a drop down sun visor and it's got a uh, removable lining and a, pin, a um, micrometric fastener, nice and quick to use. Um, so onto the visor. Now it's got a Pinlock Ready visor, Max Vision. Uh, have a look at the YouTube channel if you're not sure or, or on the website um, where we describe what exactly what a Pinlock is and I've got a video showing, taking you how to add it, uh, how to put one in, how it works, that kind of thing. But in a nutshell, um, the Thunder 3 comes with these pins on its visor and there's a recess that goes all the way around there and you can fit a, uh, an anti-fog insert. That's going to stop it uh, fogging up in all but the most ridiculously extreme conditions. Uh, they really are very good. Unfortunately the Thunder 3 uh, doesn't come with a pin lock in the box. Uh, that's, that's going to cost you an extra £30, $40 or Euros um, in extra, uh, extra when, you, when you buy one. And it's a worthwhile investment. Now the, the visor itself, uh, like most uh, MT visors, has got great optical qualities. Shouldn't really distort at all. Do, right at the edges it will distort. Um, but the rest of that, you know, most of your, most of your vision and your peripheral vision will be great uh, and distortion free. It works on a ratchet, as you can see. Three positions to, to fully up. And there's a cracked open position, so when you're riding along through the town, we often like a little bit of uh, uh, ventilation through uh, when we're doing that and it's got a cracked open position so that's good. Opening tab on the left hand side, obviously it needs, really needs to be available to the left hand when you're riding along to open it, so the left hand, bottom left hand side is great for that. Uh, and it's a, uh, a quick release visor, uh, so that means when you come back from a ride you can quickly whip off the visor without using any tools, uh, give it a clean, let it dry, stick it back on uh, without any hassle. Way you do it on this one is open the visor, that gives you access to this red tab here, uh, and then you can pull it down. The visor will pop out, uh, take it off, you obviously do it the other side as well, and it'll snap back in, uh, reversing the process to put it back on. So that's the visor, does everything you kind of need the visor to do, more or less. Um, the sun visor, as you can see under here, I'll just re remove this little, little piece of plastic. Uh, the sun visor on this one operates on the left hand side so push it forward and that drop that pushes up the visor the sun visor pull it back and down it comes so it's either fully up or fully down sun visors some sun visors allow you to uh, have different positions in between and this does but it's quite be quite difficult while you're riding along uh, but to be honest that's what all that most of us really need from a sun visor when it gets sunny dazzling whack it down and then quickly back up if it gets uh, uh, lighter, lighter, darker again. You know what I mean. Um, 
So that's the visor, um, the ventilation. You've got a fairly standard config of vents. So you've got a single chin vent, nice big fat slide that you can find easily and operate easily with gloves, um, up and down. Open up that chin, chin vent and it pushes air up onto the, behind this breath shield here, this breath guard, onto the back of the visor to help with the defogging and give a bit of ventilation around your face. Top one again, up or down, open and closed. Nice big easy uh, slider there. That'll allow air to go through, penetrate the, uh, the shell underneath the uh, slider here and bring in air. It's going to circulate inside the helmet through channels uh, that are set within the, uh, the EPS liner and uh, inside the, the comfort liner. So that's going to allow a lot of ventilation around your head and it all exits through here. You've got a rear vent and that's uh, that you can open or close. To be quite honest, most of us are just going to leave it open, I would think, um, but you can close it off if you want. Um, what else have a look at? We've got the internals here, nice and comfortable, wicking, moisture wicking material to try and draw that moisture away from your head if you're riding a long time. Um, it's removable and washable, and there are a couple of speaker pockets, like kind of like a band around the uh, inside of the helmet with speaker pockets in there. So if you want to include it, if you want to uh, stick a Bluetooth in there, you should be, shouldn't have a problem. Um, and there's a nice large area here if you're wanting to stick it, stick a third party Bluetooth on there, um, which is what many, most people tend to do. Um, it's all secured by a micrometric fastener. These are nice and easy to use. All you have to do is put it on your head, shove the ratchet in there, the ratchet slider, and it's, it's on securely uh, to, to remove your helmet. Pull the red tab and out comes the ratchet. Job done. Just make sure you, uh, when you first wear it, make sure you tighten it up nicely using this buckle here to get it really nice and tight on your head. So that's the a no quick overview of the MT Thunder 3. Um, for more information about safety testing of previous models and MT helmets uh, and lots of other questions answered, warranty, um, all, sort, all sorts of sizes, that kind of thing, colours available. And of course, as always, links to our recommended retailers are going to really sort you out and look after you if you decide to buy an MT Thunder 3. Uh, so you can find all of that on the, the website. You'll see the links below on the, uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, so have a look at that. Um, there's an overview of the MT Thunder 3 Do Everything Polycarbonate Full Face Helmet.